Okay, so we have here the new Mac OS uh, Sequoia. I'm running on the uh, M2 MacBook here that I have here, uh, Mac OS 15. Of course, this is the beta, the developer beta, and I just downloaded it to put it through its paces. Not much new here, but the one new trick that Mac OS has learned is what's this? I drag it to one side, I do it properly. A little buggy, but if I drag it to one side, you get window style on the left side. Equally, I could drag it to the right side. And yeah, there we go. Now it's style on the right side. So it's Windows styling. Nothing very earth shattering, something that Windows, uh, the Windows machines, uh, Microsoft Windows, has had for at least 10 years, probably more. And on the Mac, of course, you needed some uh, third party apps like Magnet or Rectangles to do this, but now it's baked in. And yeah, it works just as you would expect. You can tile it at the top, um, make it full screen, and so on. Now, if you find this dragging difficult, and I was sort of having a little bit of an issue there exactly where to drop it you can hover above the green button here and you get all these move and resize things right so you can move to the left right and so on but you also get these fill and arrange things which are also quite interesting so for example if i click on this one then i will get my last three active apps <coughs> tiled nicely in that pattern so i have here uh, powerpoint and uh, yeah then i've got uh, another presentation over here and they're all tiled nicely uh, like like i want them to be now they are overlapping a little bit over here and the reason for that is that these windows will not be become smaller than this right so that's if a window can't be smaller and it cannot be a quarter size then, then of course it cannot be done i literally close this one and uh, let's try that again with uh, four so if i now try it with all four i will get here we go i've got word i've got excel uh, power, uh, powerpoint which is like i said a bigger window because it it, it doesn't sort of uh, minimize that level and uh, we have uh, our basic safari and so that's quite handy um, by the way if i went hovering and if i were to if i first it had the window of the focus of course if i hover on it and if i press the option key like this as you can see the patterns change and i get quarters as well so now i can get this and that's a different size so, i mean there's all kinds of options obviously it's built in now and so it's much better done now if you have a hard time remembering you know uh, all of this sorting all of this out through the hovering you can also do it through shortcuts and because it's built in the shortcuts are now residing within the window menu and we have here a new menu called actually let me just go to the browser because that is safari and if i go to safari i get the new move and resize now notice that i did not get it on some of the other apps because they have not been updated yet so you don't get it here but if you go to safari then you do get it and so this is going to be, I think the support will be coming to all the apps. And over here, you can see left, right, top, bottom, the quarters, and so on. And you also get a little uh, keyboard shortcuts. Now, there's a lot of shortcuts to remember. And again, if I press the option key, you get another set of shortcuts down here. Um, but I think the basic four ones are pretty handy. It basically, it's function, control, left, right, top, and bottom. And again, the best way to try it right now is with the uh, built-in apps like Safari, because they have support built-in. And so let's try it with the keyboard now. I uh, got it up, down, left, and right. So, you know, it's handy. It's, a knife, so it's too late, uh, about a decade too late, but better late than never. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, Apple has tried everything with the stage manager, which I never used, with the expose application, expose and so on. I've never used any of those things, but this I think I'll be using pretty much daily. And honestly, that's all there is to it right now. We are supposed to get some new AI features in this uh, version, but they're not here yet. For example, if I were to show you an article, uh, you do get the new icon for the reader view, but if I click on it, what should happen is that on this window, I should get a summary of this article. But as you can see, I don't get that, uh, that yet. And it's just a regular reader for now, but uh, I expect these will be rolled out in due course of time. Other than that, there is a new passwords app, which is uh, handy. The password that used to be within the um, Safari are now in a standalone app. Not much to see there. And of course, I'm not going to show you my passwords. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you're going to get this nice little uh, wallpaper, which is very retro. Those of you who remember icons from that age, it's very 8 bitty. So that's nice. And uh, that's about it. So nothing very earth shattering, but the tiling window thing. Yeah, that, that's something that's uh, very small. And yet it's going to make a big difference in everyday usage. So that's a quick look at the beta as we roll through the beta versions and more and more features and i'm especially looking forward to the ai features i will be putting them through their paces as well seeing how they work on the uh, m2 machine and possibly even on the m1 machine 
uh, because they are going to be processed locally so we'll see uh, if these much older models can handle it and um, but that will probably come in a later video so thanks for watching as ever and uh, have a good one